Hey there. Welcome to Getting to Know. It's a show where you get to know more about people I think are interesting, and maybe you will too. If you want to keep up and see me stream live, you can follow my Twitch right here. Or you can tell me to go fuck myself. Thank you. Wilbur? Hello. Hey, you were just dancing you? to your own music, weren't you? Sorry? No, I think that's great. Hey, oh. uh, is, is my camera really bright for some reason? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> I can see you though, it's fine. Is it okay? Cause... Yeah, you're just kind of blending into the wall a little bit. You... <laughs> what are you trying to say, Wilbur? Hold on, let me see if this works. <laughs> what about if you get... What the hell is up with the brightness? Is... Do you care? Can you just see me on stream uh, no, instead? Does that yeah, work? I can, or... see you on stream. I can see you on stream. Okay, let me turn... No, I'm not going to turn it off, but I'll leave it on so you can just stare at me the entire time, okay? All right. Give you something good to look at. Ladies and Hello, gentlemen! Dude. Introducing Wilbur Sutt. Hello. Hi. God, you Hi. fucking... Do you even... Do you even... Do you try to be adorable or are you just not... Oh, what did I just do to you? I just invited you to a random server. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Wilbur, it's great to have you here, man. It's nice to be here. It's lovely to meet you. Yeah, it's lovely to meet you as well. This is our first time formally meeting. Um, yeah. But we've been, like, we've been chatting in the DMs for a little bit here. Yeah. That's um, where all good things start. It's where all good things start. How's your day going, man? It's all right. Yeah. I, I, I woke up at, like, 2 p.m. Uh, okay. And I, I came in, and I, I streamed a, some Minecraft. Yeah. And now I'm here. Is that the life of a YouTuber, is just to, like, wake up at 2 p.m. and be like, I'm going to go stream some Minecraft real quick? Kind of. I, I I normally get up a bit earlier, but I've been like past couple weeks. My sleep schedule's been so fucked. Like it's been so bad. I loved when you asked chat if I swear, and I think like it's a running joke that I think I'm the only Minecraft YouTuber in the world that says cunt. Oh god. <laughs> so, Is, isn't that like you? That's like UK like native though, right? Like a lot of uh, and Australia. I think Australia, Australia has it more, but like yeah, which yeah. it's not. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, it's it's like wait, is it really bad in America? No, in America, uh, usually Karens get really offended by people saying "cunt." It's... I'm not saying. I know. I know. I'm not saying it in the sexist way. I'm saying it in the. You know. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 I'm. I'm offended though. So. Oh, okay. That's because fine. Well, I'm, I don't care about you, dude. Because, like... <laughs> okay, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck, Wilbur? Uh, <laughs> God. Um. So it's it's really nice to meet you, man. Um, it's nice to meet you too. Yeah. So, uh, this is uh, you're the forty seventh person to be on this interview podcast. It's a good number. It is a really good number. Forty seven. Back when I was growing up, used to be Comedy Central. So that's a that's a really good show. Oh yeah. They're really good nice. TV series. Yeah. Um. So yeah, forty seven. We've had a lot of cool people on here. Um. Probably a few of your friends. You're friends with JDN, right? I don't know who that okay, is. Okay, well, you know Minx, Sorry. obviously. You know Minx. Of course, of course. And, I was talking uh, to Minx yesterday. Oh, you were? Yeah, yeah. What about? Quite a while. Uh, cancel culture and stands, suddenly oh, enough. Oh, that's like a thing that I'll bring up today, actually. Oh, awesome. I've been, yeah. I've been just on a... I've just been, I've just been on a rant about stands recently. <laughs> this will be my third conversation I've had. What's driving it, though? Like, what's, what's, making, you, uh, what's making you want to talk about it more often now? I feel like because the heat's died off it now, you know, uh -huh. it's like, I'm, I'm not, because the problem is when you talk about it from like, a, when you talk about stands, when they're attacking you, yeah. it becomes like a defensive thing and that never looks good. So now that the heat's off of everyone, it's like, I think now's the time to address stuff because I'm not, you know, I've got nothing to gain from it. You know, I'm just talking about it because this is what I believe in kind of thing, you know. You have a lot of stands. Thank you. You have a metric <laughs> fuck ton of stands, like to the point I where- them. Yes, I know you do, sweet thing. And I, I remember, like, Wilbur is too loud. God, you guys are fucking... I can turn it down. No, 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 it's me, it's me. You guys are yeah. miser... Oh, shit, I just invited you to another server. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Um, you have a lot of stands. Uh, and I, I find that really interesting because it seems like there's, like, a small... There's, like, a group of... I don't know how many people it is, but it's, like, Schlott, you, even Minx now, and, like, Carson... There's like a f Travs. There's like the people that I know at least. Mm -hmm. You guys have so many fucking stands. It's unbelievable. And now Austin has stands too because of all of you. Yeah, because he's been asking for them. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is no one standing me? <laughs> why did I say Schlott? I meant Schlatt. Sorry, Schlatt. Ooh. I didn't say Schlott, did I? Schlott. Schlott. Yeah, Jay <laughs> Schlott, right? Yeah, he's the, that's Justin Minx's uh, boyfriend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, but you've been talking about it more often lately, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I just think they're just, you know, nothing really too deep. You know, 
I like them. Well, I what, think they're fine. What do you think, like, when you say, like, the heat's off, what does that mean? Well, there was, like, you know, as, as much as I hate to say it, I do prefer my friends over the stands. And when my friends were saying stuff that, you know, some I, some I agreed with, some I disagreed with that the stands got angry about, watching the stands get angry was sort of, it just felt weird to me. It felt yeah. like, you know, it felt like they would, like, like, like uh, content creators owed them something. Like they owed them, but not like owed them something in like a, in like a way of like they owe us an apology or they owe us their their gratification for their success or whatever. More of like a they owe us to be the person we imagined them to be. That's so. I, so that's why I was. That's what I was talking about. Doesn't that seem like a like a big issue in general with like celebrities and such though? Just to have yeah. like these fanatical fans and things like that. Yeah, that's why I think Twitter's bad because I think I think fans will always exist. And I think fans don't exist. Because like the majority of stands, they're not standing because they they think that's an appropriate way to show appreciation. They're standing because they know that if they see another person on Twitter with a profile picture of someone they like, mm -hmm. then they'll follow each other and make friends. You know, that's that's why. You know, like I, I used to be in fan clubs when I was a kid. I wasn't in the fan club because I was obsessed with the person 100. percent I was in the fan club because I wanted to meet people. You know. Right. How how old are you? I'm 23. How long, you've been doing YouTube for quite a while, right? Uh, yeah, I've been doing YouTube since I can remember, but yeah. like, I only found success this year, really. Well, it seems like the past two years are pretty good for you. Like in two thousand, uh, well, I guess we can consider twenty. Nah, you're right. About yeah, no, Soot House was um, I used to do something called Soot House before, yeah. where I was the editor, and that was really good. That was successful. Don't get me wrong, but that was like uh. It wasn't me. It was like a, it was like a group of us, yeah. and I was sort of the quiet one, and I was the editor. I wasn't really much of the sort of front guy in it. So, uh, yeah. So, but I've but actually, it's um as of two days ago, I've been doing my gaming channel for a year. Oh wow. Yeah. So. But so I remember someone saying I read something a while ago that said like you're not really into Minecraft. I think it was in. <laughs> Oh, it, was, not. it was like your Jack Sucks at Life video, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like, I, oh, you I, watched the ARG. I watched, I watched it, yeah, and I was like, wow, you this is like, research. yeah, well, I have to, you know, come on, I got to know a little bit about <laughs> yeah. you at least, yeah. And uh, I, I found it, I found it fucking hilarious and like very witty of you for the approach you took on that video. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah, and it's very creative for someone um, to be so ambitious, I guess. And you were already ambitious before that, but you definitely, uh, you definitely push a little bit further with that video. That was that was like my start. That I figured that was that your start. Video. Yeah, that was my that was the sort of my first thing I did on my own, uh, on my away from Soot House, the other channel I was in. That was like the first thing I did on my own. Can and you? Yeah, I think in it I said that uh, I said that I haven't touched that shit since 2012, was my, <laughs> which obviously isn't true now. But yeah, I still don't really like Minecraft very much. I I don't play Minecraft at all off stream. I find it fun on stream. I really like the little challenges and the little yeah. events we do. I just don't like playing the actual game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Are you cold? <laughs> <laughs> you have done your research. Look at you. Why? I mean, are, are you still cold? Oh, I'll put, I'll, I'll, yeah, a little bit, actually. Hold on. Okay. Do you have low blood circulation, or is your is your penis just so big that all the blood's pumping to your penis? Only, <laughs> only when I get aroused, like right now. <laughs> Sorry, I had to... I had to make a joke about that. <laughs> what what exactly was ARG? Uh, okay, so an AR, ARG is like an alternate reality game. I'm sure you know. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you know. Just for the just for the chat. Yeah, it's like a so if I like um, so there's a the probably the most famous one is Cicada, mm -hmm. which was where uh, no one knows who did it, but like there was a series of like cryptic clues left around the world and on websites and stuff, mm -hmm. and like it eventually led down this huge rabbit like hole that went like for ages like into like really deep recesses of the internet yeah and um part of getting to like a certain point of it was that you had to sign like an nda oh, and things boy. like there was loads of stuff so that it could never get out so we don't know who if anyone's finished it we don't know if anyone's got to the end but loads of people reckon it's like cia training and stuff and those people think it was like you know trying to find computer hackers to recruit and things you know it's little stuff like that that's the most famous one wow i'd say uh, so if you're interested in ARGs, look up that one if you don't know about it. But you, like, is it like it's still ongoing though? Like it hasn't it hasn't finished. We don't know. Yet? No idea. We you, don't know. Are there any clues you can give for it? Or oh, for my ARG. Yeah, your ARG. Oh, yeah. They didn't figure it out. It's fine. You want to talk? I'm about not giving. It? I'm not giving any clues. I'm you sorry. Sure? 
Yeah, I'm just hundred percent sure. What what do I have to do to get a clue? <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to mute the let me mute the stream for a second? Hold on. No, I'm not telling anyone. I've literally told no one. No, literally, closest friends don't know. That's like Come the on. best marketing strategy I've ever heard of before. You still have people what? chasing after this now to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's literally because the thing is, there's no. It's like the thing is, is it's not like they're not missing anything. Mm -hmm. They've got all the clues. The only thing they've got left to find out was like the story that I'd written behind it. And there's still a couple things they haven't found, but they're not clues. They're like pieces of the puzzle they're mm. missing. Because they've got all the clues to find the pieces of the puzzle. It's one of those things where I can't like, I feel like I can't talk about it too much. Because I'm like, I really, basically what I've done, Joe, is I didn't, it's my first ever ARG. Yeah. And I fucked it up. <laughs> I made it way too hard was the problem and it's like to a point now where if i just give away clues it's just more of a cop out than if i just don't say anything because the problem yeah. is i shouldn't have made it that hard i shouldn't have made it that hard. so you fucked it up and you don't even remember what you did at this point oh no i, I know i know what i did wrong i know <laughs> i know where i went i know what i should have done yeah. but it's like too late to do that now and i don't mean i've made it hard in like i'm so smart look how smart i am i made it hard. <laughs> i mean as in i just you know anyone could make up a really hard quiz question true you know like I could say, what was what was my mum's first pet called? That's a really hard question, but it's not hard for me to come up with. Is yeah, it? yeah, Absolutely. no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you would. So I didn't, do, I didn't do anything that. smart. I just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so. wait. So we gotta mute. I gotta mute alerts. Hold on. Um. So, Wilbur, mm -hmm. your actual name is Will Gold. Yes. And that was uh, that was uh, shout out to your Wikipedia because this thing was like super fucking informative actually. Um, Wiki. Yeah, and I find it funny that you your your last name is Gold because I thought you were more of like a copper kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, what gives you that impression? Um, because I just started playing Minecraft recently, and oh, yeah. I've been trying to understand how the game works, um, mm -hmm. and I'm really fucking bad at it. But the only thing that I could uh, harvest was was copper. There is well, no copper. Exactly. <laughs> Do you mean iron? Yeah, like that's like the, the orange. Yeah, iron. yeah, yeah, yeah. The orange one. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the, oh, that's the one because like I, I don't understand how the game works, and I'm trying to like dig deeper, 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 deeper. Mm -hmm. And like yeah, yeah. every time I go down, I fall into lava. Is mm -hmm. that like how it works? Uh, hey, if you, yeah, I guess if you wanna if you wanna die, that's how you. Do. Yeah, but that, I think what you. But you can live yeah. right through the through the yeah. fire. I mean, I mean, the thing with the thing with Minecraft is, it's like, uh, I, I got into it in 2009 was when mm -hmm. I first played Minecraft, and there's like a power gap of like 2013 to 2018 where I yeah. never, I literally didn't touch it, and then obviously now it's my job. Thanks to Call Me Carson, you can blame him for that. But like, Aww. I think with with Minecraft, the thing to do is like. You just got to decide what you want to do. So, like, you can kind of do anything in it. You can make whatever you want. If you want to go mining, you can do that. But, like, yeah. maybe, maybe maybe try not digging straight downwards. Straight maybe downwards. Try, like, like yeah, maybe try looking. Yeah, or find a cave. There's lots of caves around oh. you can go into. And then you can just walk into them and you have to dig. And then oh. they all lead into, like, things, you know. So, it's a, dude, I, I, I envy you. I'd love to be playing Minecraft for the oh, first time. It's dude. fucking, That's it's like, terrible. Like, people in my chat are actually getting pissed at me. They're like, can you just stop playing this game? You're fucking horrible at it. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, come on, I'm enjoying it, though. And then someone gave me wings, and I was, like, flying around, like, the, uh, the zone. What yeah, are those yeah, wings Elytra. called? Elytra. Yeah, those are, that's fun. I was, yeah. I had the biggest smile on my face when I was playing the game, so I was like, man, this is great. Yeah, man. Wait, wait if why? I were you... Go ahead. Oh, so I was just gonna say, if I, if I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let anyone show you. Just oh. jump in there on your own. Just yeah, just get in there, get in on on your own single player. Just make a world like tonight, or if you're mm -hmm. free, and then just you know, and then just play, and just like put on some music, you know, yeah. do whatever you got to do to relax. If you know what I mean, and just yeah. like play Minecraft for a bit. Wait, what exactly do you mean? Do whatever you have to do to relax. Whatever you want, man. Light some incense, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that works. So yeah, yeah. what and is then... this about you and drugs? Why is this like being spammed in the oh. chat? I did a I did a stream uh, just now, just off the end of last stream where I um I started a drug empire oh. in Minecraft on a on a on a server that really didn't need a drug empire <laughs> in a in a video game. But what, yeah. what what were you selling? What are the drugs? Uh, potions. Oh, so like potions that like alter your gameplay and stuff, make you stronger, make you faster, and um I sort of made up that they were illegal <laughs> and then just started. That sounds fair. That sounds fair. I mean, yeah. some drugs are legal. Some are, yeah. Some are, yeah. Um, what was it like editing for Jack Sucks at Life? The few times that you right. did. 
Yeah. He's a yeah. I find editing for people because I I used to, that was what I did before I did YouTube. I was an editor for other people. Yeah. And like everyone's got their own little quirks. Jack's quirk as a person is that he just he'll be talking. Oh, just put my headphones on. He will be talking to you on like like to camera doing like a piece. Yeah. And then it, I'll give you a simulation. So say he was gonna go. Say he was trying to say right. So now let's jump into it. He'd go right. So now, right. So, Rice and <laughs> Rice and Alice jump into it, and then just go silent for twenty minutes, oh, and God. you just have to cut out twenty minutes. That he's just—I he, don't know—he's just all over the place. He really puts a lot of lot of reliance into his editors. You know, that's great. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, and then so you pulled it up, and then that's that was kind of like your your uh, pop off point, though, right? Was getting yeah. You how? What did you think of when you sent that email? Like. How awkward and uncomfortable did you feel when you sent that? And did you expect a response or did you like script it or something? How did that work? No, I, I just saw, I just sort of went with it. I basically, cause it, it started off when he made a joke on one of his videos. Cause I was always a fan of Jack. He made a joke on one of his videos where he said that like, oh, I, cause he was making a joke about how bad his editor was. It's like yeah. taking the piss. And he went, oh, any new editors email me, you know, like, I'm looking for new editors. And so I was like, I'm going to use this opportunity. So I emailed him uh, as a joke. And then I was, and then I just didn't get a response for like a week. Mm -hmm. So I just, so I, and I was actually heading across the country when I got the response. I was in a train station oh. on my laptop, and I got the email, and it was like, right, I expect the edit in one day. Shit. And I didn't have any editing software on me. I didn't have, you know, I was like, I was just in the middle of a train station. I was like, well, fuck, how am I supposed to do this? But I, I did it on my laptop, uh, and I found a cabin in the woods. Oh, that's romantic. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I filmed that bit, you know, where I'm stood in like yeah. the middle of nowhere in like that weird decrepit room. Yeah. Who, I wanted to ask, like, who who chased you out of there because the video cut and nobody knew. No, oh, we don't know, do we? Oh, come on, Wilbur, you can't do secrets here. <laughs> Why do you want to know about the no, ARG so much? I, because I'm curious. That's why. Because I looked into you. All right. God damn it, your I'm entire. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I made you curious, but you're gonna. I'm just gonna have to be blue ballsing you on this one. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so blue balls. <laughs> 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 well, what, you can't even like give a tease. Is it like your uncle or like your pet, your you pet get, animal? You get nothing. You get fucking nothing hell, Wilbur. What? <laughs> so can that... you imagine how pissed off people would be? The people that have spent like the past year trying to figure out would be if I just gave it away. Like just like for no. I'm sure they'd be satisfied, but they'd probably be a bit depressed about. It. They'd be like, oh, well, that's over now. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, I figured it. Figured you know why not a better time than now? Yeah, I know. it's my first interview. I think. It is is it really ever your first interview? I think it's probably my second, actually. I think I've been interviewed, but there's been, there's been a big gap between yeah. interviews. So. Wait, who who else is uh who else is uh, interviewed you? It's gonna make, it's gonna make me sound awful, but I, oh, General Sam, oh. 2018, 2018. Damn, my first interview. Yeah, this is my second technically. Well, this is Twitch, so it's a little bit different, right? Yeah, Maybe yeah, because it's live and like we can't just edit things out or whatever. Yeah. And so. you're you're a lot nicer than General Sam. Oh, am you're... I? <laughs> You're very yeah. sweet too. Thank you for saying that about me. Yeah, it's I not hard to be nice to the general. Sam, <laughs> I I didn't want to say that myself, but you know, I, do you I know him? Happen. Yeah, I'm familiar. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I I I I didn't I didn't actually see the interview with you and him, but I, uh, you know, I maybe I should watch it and cry later and like learn how to learn how to talk. He to doesn't him he doesn't ask a single question about me. Don't worry. He just oh, okay. asks. Yeah, we just start talking about just random shit like conspiracies and stuff. <laughs> so, um, well, that's we come to the next point then. What do you okay. think about uh, COVID and coronavirus right now? Not saying it's yeah. a not saying it's no. a conspiracy at all, but what are your no, thoughts? No, no, no. You're just, you're just hoping that I will have a conspiracy theory. No, no, no. I, well, I hope not because I, I think you're a pretty smart, dude. And you know, no, I don't think it's a conspiracy. Yeah, but yeah. I do. I, I have I have somewhat of a controversial opinion on okay, it. Okay, let me it's hear it. Not, yeah. It's not that much. So I think I think Europe uh, did really well to handle coronavirus. We 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 started doing quarantine stuff in March. Yeah. Uh self isolation by the end of March. I I made a documentary actually on it in when I was in Germany for my degree. Yeah. I did cuz I went out to Germany the 3 days before they announced that it had spread to Germany. Shit. So so I was so I was like I was kind of stuck there for a while and I made a little documentary. Yeah. about it uh, when I was out there. And um yeah, I think we did really well. I think there was there was some really good, uh, really 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 good proactive measures came into place, and I think America has been far too slow. I think. Well, I, I, think... Can, I can tell you, uh, being an American, I entirely agree with your sentiment. Yeah. <laughs> um... It's like I don't think it's the fault of 
The problem, okay. The, the problem is, Ameri- I, 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 I'm quite a big fan of American history, and really? something you'll see that, yeah, yeah, I did a, um, I wrote a paper on it, uh, back when I was doing my A levels in history. Okay. I did mine on America, and um, one of the things that I've noticed about American history is that every there's there's a lot of fear, a lot mm. of fear based political standpoints in America mm. that seems to, which is something that you don't really see unless you're looking in from out i think i mean i mean i assume you can probably see it as well it's not just like outside but like so there's a lot of things like if you look at the civil rights movement of the 60s a lot of it was based on fear and like even as much as you know it it felt like everything was getting a lot more optimistic as we went on the 21st century and then 9-11 september 11th attacks happen and things a lot of america's politics is based on fear and i think what that purveys is that a lot of the things that are really important and unique, such as a pandemic, get taken as a political standpoint. Yep. And one of the things, because I love America, I, yeah. I, I would, I'd love to live in America. I think I, where, I love where would you what, live? Uh, somewhere sunny. I think is my basis. Just but say, I just, just love American. LA. Just say LA. You live in LA. <laughs> California. There I like. Go. I like yeah. the. I like the sound of them. Um, I, I really like all the Texans I've met as oh. well. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah a New, I'm, a, I'm a New Yorker originally, but like I, I live right. in Texas now. So yeah, Texas seems lovely. Yeah. Like genuinely, I I just think America is a lovely place, and I I always get so much shit <laughs> when I say that on stream because I don't know it's it's cool to hate America. I don't get it. <laughs> I like I don't know. It's just such I, yeah. basically as someone who's from the UK. Yeah, I love the UK. I think mm-hmm. I think Great Britain, as it has its problems with the United States, also mm-hmm. having its own problems. It's such a, it's, you know, I'm blessed to live in such a, a, a safe and sort of, I'm, pri- I'm incredibly privileged to have the opportunity to live here, you know, and, and yeah. the fact that I can, you know, when I was 17, I, I snuck out because I wanted, I wanted to go on holiday and my mum wouldn't let me and I snuck out to the Netherlands, right? Like that's, how, you can't that's, do that anywhere no, else really though. Like I just, that, yeah. yeah, I just snuck out to another country, you know, like it's like that's, I'm incredibly like privileged to have that, but some parts of the privilege and freedoms that I don't get in the UK, I would get in the UK, in the US, sorry. Because as much as people like to make like the, if you draw, if you draw the parallels, right? Yeah, yeah I'm curious like, what you're gonna say about that, but go, go ahead. Yeah, so America, the phrase America's the land of the free mm-hmm. is always mm-hmm. taken with a grain of salt and it bloody well should be, right? right? America should be looked at scrupulously because like, with scrutiny, sorry, not scrupulously, <laughs> with scrutiny, because, you have the highest incarceration population in the world. You yeah. have there's plenty of, of deep inset issue with human rights in the United States. But what you have to appreciate, and what I'm saying is from a very privileged standpoint, is that why I would love to live in the United States is that because the things you do have liberty in, you I, you don't take for granted and you appreciate. So one thing I always talk about is if I was in the UK and I wrote "cops are wankers" yeah. on the front of my house, mm. right, in spray paint. The police would come and knock on my door, and I'd have to take that down. I'd have to, I'd have to paint that away. I'd have to get rid of it, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's that's it's an offence. It's against the law, right? In the US, if I'm in Texas or something, and I wrote, I don't know, maybe not cops or something, maybe I'd get shouted at. I don't know. But if I wrote, yeah. let's just say I wrote, let's just say I wrote "fuck piss" on my wall, right, in Texas, and someone says, "Hey, take that down," I can just go, "No, <laughs> it's my house." Oh, you're so you know? right. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's liberty. It's liberty and freedom and independence, which is things that I re- and privacy, things that I really care about that America does really, really well. And your internet privacy is not so good, but like your privacy in terms of of your homestead and your and your you know your livelihood. You know, I'm a big fan of fuck the government. You know, yeah, <laughs> so, no, and I like that. You're a bit of an anarchist in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your wow, I'm not gonna say fuck this. Fuck this. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't know that um, you were uh, so well informed. I know I read a little bit about you being into like geography, but I didn't know like history was a big I like thing. Geography as well. Yeah, um, I, I like politics too. Yeah. I I'm, I'm basically I, I like all the social stuff. I don't. I'm. I literally. I'm. I. Everyone always makes fun of me because I just can't do English or maths or sciences. I'm just. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, no, I'm I just. Terrible. I, I like social stuff. Social issues. You know. Were if you... I if I could be if I could be a revolutionary, I would be. I love I love all that. <laughs> well, aren't aren't you kind of already a revolutionary? Nah, no. It's easy to nah. I I used to get part of movements. Yeah, 
But I'm, okay, so being in a movement is cool. Being in a movement is sexy. Being in a movement is like, you know, you're fighting for what you believe in. Being a revolutionary is hard. Being a revolutionary is you get shot age 28 because yeah. of someone disagree. you know. Like being a revolutionary is the is the hard, like gritty part. But don't you but know? don't you think like uh I don't know where you intend on taking your platform in like the next five years, but don't you kind of see yourself as someone with like the ability to change or impact? I'd way? love to, but I'd love to, but I, I I'm not I don't know. I'm just a YouTuber in it. <laughs> Like, I'm oh, not, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, th I think, you know, I think there's definitely having such a huge platform is, is, is there, it is, there is potential to, to use that platform for good. But I think I value being an entertainer more. Okay. I guess. And I, I do try and use my platform for good, but I, I, I could definitely do more. I could definitely do more. Does that kind of weigh on you at all or that you feel not like really. you can do more? No. So you don't. Not really. About it. I don't know if I should be guilty about that. It doesn't. I like. No, I. No. 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 I. I guess it's because I know what I believe in, and I. And I. I have. I've yet to find something that I think people need to know about that no one knows about. You know, mm. like this is like you know, you know, you see celebrities who like back a cause. Normally, they're doing that because they have found out about something that they want the world to find out about and yeah. change. You know, and they do a really good job of that. But I guess I haven't found anything that I find out before anyone else you know i mean <clears throat> i think you're uh, if you were to tell your chat to wear masks do you think they would say no or yes i think they say yeah but i don't think i'd have that much of an impact i think um i think young people would have an impact on maybe young people whose parents teach them not to wear masks would would really uh they would fight that probably at least right yeah they they they, they i'd hope that they'd listen to me but yeah you know i think it's also a bit of fear, isn't it? Like, well, I think you wouldn't want to. I, I mean, I guess. Do you? Are you wearing a mask when you go out in public right now? Go on, right here. Hey, <laughs> what is that made out of? Yeah, old panties? What the hell? Yeah, that's what I thought when I bought it. It came out of a vending machine, uh -huh. and I bought it, and like, it's actually like. <laughs> <laughs> Was that? That is like an old woman's. What do they say? Yeah, I know. What do they call panties in the UK? Oh, uh, knickers. <laughs> 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 That's like an old. That's like that's like that's like Haggis's old panties that she like put in a fucking like. Would you buy that? Next, like the little like the spider ring, uh, the machine or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, bro, you got to get a real fucking mask, man. The hell? I did used to have one, but it fell apart, so I got the most expensive one, and it was this one. Have so. you? What do you look? Can you put it on first? I want to see if you wear it properly. <laughs> that isn't helping shit, Wilbur. What? What, what the fuck? But you could probably you could probably blow out a candle with that. <sighs> you I'm don't feel it. Hold on, wait, wait. Let me okay. try, hold on. Let me try and knock over this empty yeah, bottle. Yeah, knock over the bottle. Yeah. Okay. Wait, let's do it without the mask first. <laughs> okay. There you go. Jesus. And then this, and then this, this is with the mask. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's pretty good. It's pretty it's worth. I'd say it's worth the price. You know. Good job. <laughs> it's just worth the price. Good it? job, Wilbur. Thanks, Joe. Hey, look at that. I'm helping. Leading Wait. by example, by fear mongering. No, <laughs> no. I uh, I find it interesting because like I being from New York and like how New York handled coronavirus, it mm -hmm. was like really hard in the beginning, but they pushed through and they've done a, a phenomenal job now. Um, yeah, yeah. But now living in Texas, it's like I had to go to FedEx to return something that I bought. And uh, the I had someone just just this like woman in like a fucking wheelchair just like sliding past me, and she was looking at me like I was like the fucking devil or something. And I was like, I want to be like, what the fuck is your problem? I wanted to like freak out and be like a dick about it, but I I was like, I gotta hold myself back because you it's know, not a good image. No, <laughs> not at all. It's horrible. It was, it was terrifying actually. Um, Wilbur, how long have you been playing music for? uh two and a half years three years three years now three years yeah wait you've just been playing music for just three years yeah three years ago i'd never picked up an instrument and you learned how to play guitar that like that fast and you're pretty good at it thank you i just i just sat in my room <laughs> for yeah. a long time <laughs> i uh i, don't know. I still yeah i started when i was almost 21 like just before my 21st birthday holy shit and what like what got you into it like, why did you want to learn how to play guitar? Uh, I, well, I, I worked at a convenience store at that point in my life. I was 21. All my friends were, like, at university yeah. or, like, 
working a proper job, you know. Well, not that the convenience store isn't a real job, but at the time I was very self-conscious and didn't think it was a real job at all. And, um, and uh, yeah, I, was, I, I went through a very bad phase of my life at that point. I, I, I sort of, you know, I also worked the night shift. Mm-hmm. So I was waking up when the sun was setting yeah, and then falling asleep when the sun rose. And um, basically the way I got through it was playing a lot of music. I, I played about 10 hours a night wow. in my room. Yeah. And I just sat there and it's, I, I self-taught and I just sort of whacked on it and whacked it out, you know, right. <laughs> not whacked it off, but whacked it out. <laughs> and that's, and, a, uh, that's a, that's a British term, right? For like, learning yeah, just like doing it you know yeah just whacking, whacking it, it yeah whacking it not just yeah. whacking it yeah, just i know what that it. means Joe. they should rename <laughs> they should rename just chatting on twitch to just whacking it that's what they should do <laughs> hanging out with wilbur sutt on just, just whacking, whacking it. it just a couple bros whacking it together <laughs> live on twitch it's just <laughs> whacking it with wilbur sutt <laughs> why that's not fuck right. it they should i don't i don't just whacking it <laughs> Yeah, we, wouldn't, yeah, we like, wouldn't last a day on the platform. But anyway, go ahead. What were you gonna say? <laughs> but no, I just it's um if you if you if anyone listening is planning on just learning guitar, it's 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 not as daunting as it sounds. Like it sounds very and I know I'm coming from a place of someone who knows how to play, yeah. but like all I did was there's a website called Ultimate Guitar, mm-hmm. uh, which is just like a big list of other people write chords and like tab sheets for songs that exist yeah. any song you can think of more or less like any song you like, even the most obscure band you like will be on that right and i just sat down with a guitar i brought up a bunch of songs i liked and would like to learn and then i just sat there and just and if you hover over all the little chord letters mm-hmm. it tells you where to put your fingers oh, on the shit, guitar really yeah and i just sat there and just did that for hours and hours day in day out I, I didn't know it was that I've wanted to learn how to play play guitar for a while. My brother plays guitar and I've always been I I don't know, I've always wanted to play like I like um like nineties alternative rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know like yeah. Radiohead and like the Smashing yeah, Pumpkins yeah. and shit like that. I've yeah. always wanted to learn how to play that music and be that guy. Yeah, man. But well, Ray, Radiohead's very fun to learn. Like um fake fake plastic trees. Yeah. Really yeah. easy song, really easy song to play. You could do that in an afternoon if you if you've sat there for a while and just figured it out, you know. It's you, like um, Sorry. Do you only play acoustic, or do you play electric or anything like that? No, I, I play acoustic. I play electric. I play bass. Uh, I play the lute and the mandolin. What the hell is the lute? Uh, you know, like the old-fashioned, like Skyrim. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're a bit of a um, you're a bit of a pilgrim, huh? You can... I'm, I'm no good at it, <laughs> but yeah. I can. And I played the double upright as well, the big one. And, wow. Um, and ukulele, but. I play baritone ukulele. Why do you just you, Wilbur? I gotta say this, okay? Because like okay. I, because I, I, I appreciate you as a person. But I, if you were a kid in high school that I went to uh, high school with, you mm-hmm. would be the kid that was in like theater class. Would that be accurate? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I did. Okay. I did drama. It's called okay. drama. Yeah. I well, did, drama. Um, so you did. You did acting in like high school and things like that. Yeah, I did. I did. I was. I was very into it. I did um I also did a performing arts A level as well which was which wow. was fun because I took it uh sort of just as a filler <laughs> cuz you get um you get free education in this country until you're 19 mm-hmm. uh so I just did it cuz it was like I I turned 18 and they're like do you want to go to university and I was like nah <laughs> so they were just like no. so they were like well what do you want to do and I said well can I just keep going to college and they went mm-hmm. yep college is like high school uh here and okay. that I was, they basically like, do you want to keep going to high school? And I went, yeah. And so they just, I, so I just took another year and just did another, and I took performing arts just for fun. Oh, shit. But, yeah. You must have been like a lady killer in high school, huh? Jesus. No. Oh, in college, maybe. Well, college, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was the ugly kid, bro, before, really? before college. Yeah, before college. Do you want to see a picture? Yeah. Why don't I, I feel like I don't believe that because I was, I'll pull up a picture of me too from high school. Okay. Let me, let me go on my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I was the, I was the ugly kid in, in, um, You'd call middle school and and elementary school. Mm-hmm. It's just a secondary school here. Okay, uh, you're I ready? Was the, I, yeah, go on. Show me. No, you you first. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm still finding it. Okay, uh, all right. Here, I'm still I'm still finding mine then too. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Okay, here's mine. I found mine. You ready for this? Yeah. Hold on. I haven't found mine yet. That's all right. I'm I'm still searching. 
Okay. There's one picture I always use, which is like, it's like the most, it sums me up perfectly how I used to look. This picture reminds me of better days, Wilbur. When I look at this photo on my phone, I'm like, man, <laughs> life was so simple Here back in. Mm. I've got it. So okay, this, is, that's, that, this is me sat at the table there. Oh, you think you're the ugly kid? I also smell quite bad. What? Why? Why would you smell? I used to sleep in my uniform and with my dog. Okay, what's wrong with that? That sounds adorable. Well, it just makes it smell. <laughs> it just it makes your clothes smell if you sleep in your clothes you're and the with kid, your dog. You're the kid in the back. Yeah, I'm the kid in the back. Oh well, we're not that bad looking. Come on, man. You definitely had a glow up. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, thank you. I was, I was the. I was the smelly kid. Everyone's saying, yeah. what? No, it's worse than that. I also just sometimes wouldn't shower. I didn't understand. I didn't understand social like stuff. I didn't get it. It was like... Yeah, you definitely you definitely got better with age, man. That's for sure. But I mean, you, you look okay. For sure. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Here, you ready to be disappointed in me? Yeah, go on. Okay, I'm going to hold this up to the, to the camera on stream. Here. Oh, wait. Who's looking stream? That's me, Wilbur. It hasn't focused yet for me. That doesn't look like you. That was what? me. That was me in high school. That was me. You've, lo you've lost a lot of weight. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you. I had I had hair back then, Wilbur. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're all going that way. Bald, but like and I and I stunk it. as well because I didn't shower. So <laughs> yeah, no, that, that yeah. you know, I think everyone had like that weird phase where they just didn't quite. And most people got over it in like elementary school, but mm -hmm. I. Kept it going. Get, I'm age 16 in that photo, by the way. Holy shit, 16? 16? Yeah. I think I was so. 16 in my photo, too, actually. Yeah. Wow. Will was going bald, too. <laughs> yeah, sick. people have been spamming Will bald the entire time. Is that actually... Oh, yeah. Can you a good do meme. this? Pull your hair back? Oh, you want me to do that? Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, dude, you're fine. Get <laughs> out of here. It's, it's, bad. it's bad. But the thing is, like, my mom has a massive forehead, and okay. my dad uh, has a massive forehead, too, but none of them, like... Well, my, my dad lost his hair when he was, like, 20. Yeah. So, the fact that I'm still going is pretty good for me, no, I think. Good. But like, yeah, yeah. I think I've inherited my, my mum's hairline. I've just got, you know... My hair's really thick. It's, like, super thick, but it's it's just really far back. <laughs> I, I, think it's, I think it's fine. And, I mean, honestly, like, it, it works for you. So... You're... I, I, yeah, I, I just like the fringe in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, here, let me ask you about this, too. So... You were you popular in college? Mm, there wasn't really popularity stuff in college. Really, in the in UK, the there UK. was in secondary school. In secondary school, like when I was like thirteen to sixteen, yeah. there were loads of like, and I was not. I was the opposite. There really? was like three weird kids who I'm not going to say by name. I'll say their first name: George, Alex, and me. And you were one of them. Yeah, yeah. I was one of them. I was. It was like the three weird kids that are like, you know, they're weird for a different reason. And I was weird because I smelt bad and didn't say much. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, but you brush your teeth, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah so you're not that gross. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're too damn handsome. So what, when, <laughs> if you were any sweeter and I was near you, Wilbur, I, I'd probably get diabetes from being too close to you. You know that? Aww. You know that? And be I, a type two. <laughs> yeah, I'd be a type two. And I think the chat feels the same exact way. It's uh, not the George they're thinking of. <laughs> oh. Is that an inside joke? Is that an inside one? No, they're thinking of one of the other people from Soot House. Oh, okay. Um, you've had a few different songs come out. The, mm -hmm. the Nice Guy Ballad, The mm -hmm. Internet Ruined Me, which I just listened mm -hmm. to. I Am Very Smart. Oh, I don't like that one. That's why? my least favorite. Wait, why? It's not very good. I wrote it in an afternoon. <laughs> Sometimes those are the best things, though. Yeah. Not yeah. this one, though. <laughs> uh, another one was Karen, Please Come Back, I Miss the Kids. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. one is fucking hilarious <laughs> oh thank you i like thank that you. um and then uh this one that's kind of like obscure but it's called the squid song and you wrote it when you were a kid <laughs> yeah where the fuck did the idea for the squid song come from because that one like blew me away when i heard it, it was like what is this uh so when i was a kid i used to have a minecraft channel yeah uh, which you can still find. All the videos are still up. It's mm -hmm. uh, Minecraft and Donuts. You can type in. Yeah, there. yeah. But it's, um, uh, I used to do that. And uh, I decided to celebrate hitting 50 subscribers. Oh. I would write a song. So I took uh, the instrumental 
of one of my one of my favorite musicians when I was a kid. I took an instrumental of one of his songs and just wrote some lyrics over it. Who um, who, who was that? Who's that artist? Uh, Jonathan Coulton. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Have you played Portal? Yeah. Yeah, he wrote Still Alive. He wrote the ending credits music for both the portals. Oh wow! And uh, he also did uh, like Left for Dead. He did like the music and stuff. He's 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 a he's like a. I'm really into comedy music, like super into comedy music. I'm obsessed. I love it. And Jonathan Coulton was like my first comedy musician that I got into. So that and like the what is what else is there like Tenacious D? Yeah, the Tenacious D are good. Yep. Uh, there's loads of comedy musicians. So. When, when did you start putting your music on Spotify? Like last month, I think. Last month, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you how do you feel about that so far? Because it seems like there's a lot of people that listen to you every month. Yeah, it's the, the my comedy stuff I'm fine with. Uh I just I, I released a um I released a serious album uh of actual songs that I'd written over the past two and a half years. And I'm not a fan of it at all. <laughs> Is that... but it was one of... Sorry, Sorry. It, no, no, no. Whenever I speak, just interrupt me. I'm just, I'm, I'm curious because I'm like bouncing off of you. Is that your city gave me asthma? That's the one. Yeah, okay. I'm not very proud of it. It's, it's like the thing. I know everyone loves it, and that's why it's up. You know, because people, it means something to people. Yeah. The, the basically, I, I just, I think I can do way better now. Uh, lyrically, it's pretty good, but my guitar playing is sloppy. The mixing and producing is bad. My voice is a lot worse because a lot of them are recorded like a year and a half ago, mm-hmm. and like I've improved quite a lot. So, I mean, Internet Ruined Me was recorded two months ago. If that yeah. gives you any perspective. I think I did pretty good on the vocals for Internet Ruined Me. The mixing's bad. I'm too far forward, but yeah. aside from that, you know, I'm learning all the time. So it's like, well, that, that's but, all that um, matters. Yeah, it's all yeah but like news. with with your city gave me asthma it's like i always think back on the there's a there's a there's a line from a band i like called ttng and they've got a song and the song is about writing songs it's a song about writing music yeah. and one of the things they say in it is um what's it uh you, your words likely have less merit than the timbre of their sound so sing anything you feel like and don't let it get you down oh, that's and that's pretty much it's pretty much saying like you know your music's not about you it's about what you're saying it's about the sound you're making you know so don't worry about you know if you don't like it because it's not about you it's not so when i think of my that album i don't it makes me cringe when i hear it and when people talk about it i'm always very thankful and stuff i mean my the the fans got it trending on twitter when i released it and i didn't even announce it i didn't they just they just figured it out which is incredible and like i'm super grateful to them but like i don't like it and I'm not like my own worst critic because I definitely can tell when I've made something that I think is good. Yeah. And that I can tell is not something that I think is very good. <laughs> but it means something to people and yeah. that's why I'm happy it's out there and I'm happy they can they can enjoy it. Are you are you cold or warm or I'm the other way around now, I'm getting warm. <laughs> oh, okay. Um I was gonna say the uh the, the really interesting thing about like your style of music is it reminds me of like my like emo sad boy days back in like high school pretty much and no and no no no, it's not a bad thing it's it's like that's that's the kind of music that made me like really i don't know kind of learn more about myself i guess Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. and i and i was very appreciative of that time because there were so many good um so many good moments that came from Mm -hmm. that time too and that's why like i love my high school experience is a little bit different. Even though I had an afro and I wore Ghostbusters uh, hoodies and wore Janko jeans, you probably don't even know what Janko jeans are, do you? No. I'm gonna send you a pair in the mail. Uh, Janko <laughs> jeans. I, I look. I was a fucking loser, but like I had some of the best moments of my life that I can remember when I was that young. So, um, yeah. and I that's why I listened to your song. And I said earlier, I was like, I played one of your songs, and my mod was like calling me a simp i was like i'm not a fucking simp it was like i i like his style like your voice naturally without singing is is great it's kind of comforting right and then like your guitar play is like on point so i i did like your music and i think you should keep doing it so. yeah I, I i've got another one coming out soon uh the third installment in my e-girl series really yeah so it's, i'm in love with an e-girls part one internet ruined me's part two and i've got a third part coming out soon is that coming out like in the next few weeks or a bit longer i think probably months uh it's it's still in the i've got the tune i've got most of the lyrics down i just haven't done any recording or anything yet you know yeah it's cool it's called your new boyfriend so far oh cute that's the name that's the working title uh 
and it's it's very it's 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 like quite long. It's like a musical almost. There's like oh. a back and forth between, and there's like a reprise and stuff. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. But so the uh, speaking of, uh, you said it's what did you say? It's the new boyfriend. Yeah, your your, your, your new, new boyfriend. boyfriend. Do you uh, what what exactly is your love life like? Over. What is my love life like? Yeah, being so desirable as you are, because like I had this written down earlier. I was like, how many people on a daily basis just throw themselves at you like zero oh zero. fuck off you're kidding me joe, joe it's not Come on, that, man you make not, it look easy well, wilbur if, if they are i'm not fucking seeing them like, but like no i i'm i i am i i'm too in love with my job so you don't want to be distracted is what you're saying no no is that really what it is or are you just very yeah. private about personal I, I if i did I, you wouldn't know about it yeah <laughs> but uh, but i'm telling you now is like because we're here in yeah. like person yeah, i yeah. i'm not i i am i'm not even single i'm just not searching gotcha. i'm i'm in limbo so you are you're you've got like a like a fuck buddy then. <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't have to I'm, say it it's fine i mean i i, I everyone just... say everyone's saying nikki but <laughs> yeah well no nikki is um she was on austin's show right yeah 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 and uh, that's, that's where i met her so you two met each other through Austin's show, right? Yeah, she won. She won the show. Yeah. Um, and what did you think of being on his show? Was it fun for you? Yeah, it was really fun. The The only thing I worried about was, um, I don't know, when I watched, I remember to get into, because I was invited onto it and I'd never seen it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so to, to understand it, I, uh, I watched Fitz's one, mm -hmm. uh, Call Me Carson's one, and I forgot who the third one was but i watched someone else as well like the entire vod all the way through and it was really really sexist <laughs> i was really worried wow. like yeah it was like so, like carson's one not so much but fitz's one definitely and like the other one they were they were really i was watching it and i was like oh god and like <laughs> i was i was raised pretty much by my mum yeah. uh for like the majority of my life uh and i'm a mom's like, boy as well yeah yeah yeah, because my, my parents got divorced when I was quite yep, young. Me too. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but so I thought when I was watching, I was like, what would my mum say? Like, <laughs> she would, she'd beat me. I'm like 22 yeah. and she'd beat the crap out of me if she mm -hmm. saw me on this show. So I was like, I was really, really worried. And um, I remember I reached, I reached out to Kate and I reached out to Minx mm -hmm. and I asked them, like, I was like, what's, well, like, is it a sexist show? Is yeah. it like what? How? What was your experience as a woman on the show? And they both said it was absolutely fine. They both said it's like there's always an out. You you're comfortable. You're safe. Mm -hmm. uh, you've always got this sort of net behind you. You never feel like you're doing anything uncomfortable. That's nice. Yeah. And I'll they were just like, and they were like, the worst thing you're gonna get is like the other girls making sexist jokes to each other. Yeah. And I was like, that's fine then. I'm cool. Well, because Austin creates a really good environment for that. He does. He does. He's a really intelligent guy. Really smart. He Talented really guy. likes you too. Will. Oh, he's a great guy. I really like him. He's a fucking great guy. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, I feel like every... it's There's, like, a group of you that he tweets every once in a while, and he just, like, tweets, and he says, like, hi, Wilbur. Or, like, yeah. Hi, hi, yeah. hi, Travs. It's, like, he, lo he loves all of you. Like, uh, Very sweet. I was at... Oh, God. I was at his house, like, a month and a half ago, and uh, I'll never forget how hard he just, like... he He's so... Um, he really likes all of you a lot. Let's just say that. He really appreciates all of you. Mm -hmm. And um the the stands you brought him. <clears throat> so he's I think I think he's such a he's such a boomer personality. He is such a I like boomer, about yeah. him. Like like he literally seen that we all say like there was a phase in like January, February time mm -hmm. of Twitter where everyone would just say hey at and then the mm -hmm. person, right? And that was like a meme. For like a for like a week or two, and that was when Austin started getting into Twitter. Yeah. So I think he thinks that's what everyone does all the time. So he's just learning as he goes, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's very sweet. It's so sweet because he had like what he had like um he had like ten k followers when I went on the show. I remember like when on like Twitter? that was like yeah he had like 10K. Yeah. he was like just starting out. He'd like just made his account pretty much, and uh, yeah, he's such a boomer. <laughs> it's very funny. 
Wow. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, an old soul. he is an old soul, but he's a sweet human being. And he really, oh, yeah. uh, he, he's really always happy to have you, have you and all your friends on the show too. And he's that, lovely. that's what I was going to talk about. I was going to say, uh, Wilbur, you seem extremely generous. Um, and I, I, I know you're, I know you're a bit of a communist and you know, you sell drugs and all that <laughs> stuff, but, um, and I think it, it goes without being saying, it goes without being said that, um, that you and the people that you surround yourself with, like immediately are all kind of on the same path and you're all kind of have really good intentions for your friends and mm -hmm. to the people that you guys like get close with. I mean, for instance, like you let me interview you for Christ's sake, like, you know, that that's cool. And it, you just seem like a cool dude for just being right, so I, open. I, yeah, I saw your interview with Carson. I watched your interview with Carson, and then I, I followed you. And then you asked me if I wanted to be on. I went, yeah. Like it That's wasn't. That. I promise you, it was. It was a very selfish, egotistical reason. <laughs> oh, okay. It was just yeah. like, I wanted right. people to ask me questions. But yeah. no, I definitely surround myself with with intelligent and kind people. I always do. I, you know, I would never, you know, is what's the point in hanging out with people that don't care about you? And no, you're very you know, right, man. Like, and I think a lot of people will take advantage of the situation in most cases and just kind of be like, you know, yeah, yeah. which sucks. Like, it sucks mm -hmm. really hard. Um, yeah. Do you find it hard to, like, establish who is, like, on your side and who's just out there trying to just leverage you or anything like that? Um, no, I think I have a pretty good judge of character. Mm -hmm. I am... Um... I've, I can normally tell when people are, like, uh, I was at VidCon in February, and um, I still remember I had a litmus test that, I w that worked without fail, that whenever someone would come up to me and go, hi, I'm blah, 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 and I'd say, oh, hi, I'm Wilbur, and then they'd say, oh, how many subs have you got? Oh, come on, man. That, that's just like, all right, see ya. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know, like, uh, see you later. That, dude. Yeah. That was like the, the litmus. Though. That was like the first thing that happened when I moved to. I live in Austin, Texas, and there's a ton of other streamers here, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the first thing that happened, I'll never forget it. It was like, uh, and these people are all great people, but some mm -hmm. something happened where it was like, uh, so what's your viewer count like? Like, what's your average viewer count? And I was just like, how do you like delete yourself from this conversation right now? I was like, I want to get the fuck out of this right now because like. Yeah. And it's been fun for me. Like, I'm still relatively, like, new to Twitch and YouTube and all that, mm -hmm. that jazz. But, like, I hit 1,600 subs on YouTube, and I had, like, a fucking party over it, dude. Yeah, I was man, like, this is so cool. Like, and I, I, I refresh it, and it's, like, one new sub. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's so fucking cool. And yeah, man. What was that like for you when you were kind of, like, getting there? Like, when you were starting to, like, see your growth and all that? What, how did that feel? Oh, I'm, I'm really lucky I had it when I was really young. I got my first like 5,000, I, I had a channel with 6,000 subscribers when I was 14. Yeah. And that was like, so, I, and I was a fucking wanker. I was just, I was so full of myself, dude. I thought I was the most famous person who'd ever lived. I was like, everyone I spoke to, it was like, do you want to hear about my YouTube channel? You know, it was like, that was <laughs> yeah. all I cared about. All I, cared. I wanted to people to see the numbers as me. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted. And I'm really fucking lucky that happened to me when I was 14. Because by the time I started seeing like more growth when I was older, you know, it didn't hit me as much. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've, you always done pretty well for yourself. What are your what are your thoughts on fish and chips? Do you like fish and chips? Yeah, I love it. My I'd say it's my favorite food. Really? Yeah. You use uh is it what is it, balsamic vinegar? Is that what they use? No, well you can put vinegar on, yeah. Vinegar, but but I'm I am i am i I'm a ketchup guy. Oh you're a ketchup, you're a fucking sinner. I'm from South Coast where you put ketchup on it. Is is your your accent, is that more of like the posh the posh tone? You have a bit of a posh yeah. tone, right? You're getting into you're getting into my other favorite subject, which What's is that? accents. <laughs> accents. Wait. I love accents. Okay. I'm so obsessed. Talk to me one about of, accents. One of, my, one of the party tricks I do with um with uh, one of my friends is he plays me YouTubers and I have to guess where they're from, judging by their accent. Yeah. And I can I can normally get pretty good. I do pretty well. But like um mainly with uh mainly with European accents I can catch a lot better. But yeah, yeah. my accent my accent is called received pronunciation. And uh, what denotes that is, uh, so you, I don't slur my hard T sounds or my hard D sounds. Yeah. So for instance, if I would say don't, you know, I don't say don't, you know, that's, that's sort of the big thing for it. I also say bath and grass bath. and things. 
yeah, instead of Bath and Grass yeah. and stuff. Uh, but I was born in Suffolk. Okay. Now in Suffolk, Suffolk. They thought they thought like this up in Suffolk, right? The yeah. number nine bus. Yeah. <laughs> go, go go and dump shops. Yeah. Number nine bus in Suffolk. And Suffolk. That's where I'm from. That's how I used to talk when I was a kid. And then I moved to Brighton. And Brighton has a Sussex accent, and the Sussex accent is very different. But the thing was, because I moved when I was young, like when my parents divorced, I had this, I had both accents kind of smash into each other, yeah. and I just ended up with this. And I, I lived in London for three and a half years, and that was, um, that changed my accent slightly. I say, um, when I, especially when I get loud or angry, I get a very sort of London accent coming yeah, through. Yeah. <laughs> what is, um, what do you think my accent is? Can you, can you determine what my accent is? Um. Yeah. I don't, wait. Hold on. Oh, I can just ask you to say some you stuff. Want, you want me to say um, some stuff? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Can you say? Um. Uh, what do you What do you call uh when you pour water, water into your mouth and you don't let your lips touch the bottle? Oh, when you you uh you pour water in your mouth. You no, but like, what's it was? If I if if I were to give someone a drink and they said, yeah. "Oh, don't let your lips touch," and they went, "That's not a, that cool. That's not nobody defines that." With anything. Chat's gonna chat's gonna give it to you. There you go. Waterfall or air sip? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's... What the fuck? I was taught this one recently. It's the way of denoting whether someone's from New York. Nope. <laughs> nobody nobody says waterfall. Wait, who says waterfall? Schlatt? No, it's in in New York they say um they say air sip. Uh, what? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> It's the first time I've ever heard of air sip. Yeah. Okay. For accent, though, I guess it would be like, oh, I don't know. I guess it would need to be like a hard oo sound, like Ooh. the word moving, moving, and like and like choosing, choosing. And uh, what about um, trust in the choosing process? Can you say that? Trust in the choosing process. Fuck you, making me say it like you are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you didn't you didn't say process, which means that you're not from the south. Process. Process. Yeah, you said process. How but that I, might be because you're listening. That might be because you're listening I, to you're me. You're fucking me up right now. I'm gonna give you an easy one, okay? Okay. Water. 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 That's that. Yeah, that's like. Oh, I don't want to say. It in let case me it let me you. give you another one, okay? Okay. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. I don't want to. I don't want to say in case it offends you. No, offend. Because I know. I know that you're from New York, but yeah. that's giving me New Jersey vibes. Oh come on, man! That place <laughs> smells like shit. You're gonna call. You're gonna say I'm from fucking New Jersey, Wilbur. <laughs> no, I said it was gonna offend you. Oh my god, coffee. dude. Coffee. 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 Water. <laughs> Go get me a glass water. of water. Give me a glass of water. Yeah. Give... <laughs> you. You're doing it wrong. God damn it! <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, wait. How do you say water? Water. Oh, God, it pisses me off so bad that your accent Why? is so perfect and clean. It's what? <laughs> that's just that's just English. That's just my area of England. Oh, God, it's so clean. Ugh. We say water. Water. Say water. 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 He's a bit of a funny looking bloke, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what water. the fuck's going on there? <laughs> you fucking cunt. Yeah, wanker, <laughs> right? Is that another one? Yeah, yeah, wanker. yeah wanker. 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 That was go that's going south. Wanker. Say it. Say yeah, it again. it's uh, British British accents shouting British swear words is like for bollocks. Bollocks. What? You wanker. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do you it's ever like... what what is it like hearing Wilbur Sutt get angry? Go ahead and like <laughs> yell at me. Treat me like I'm a piece of shit, Wilbur. Go. Oh fuck off, Joe! Just you fuck off Why? now, wanker. Why? You fucking wanker. Look, well, you just sat there thinking yeah, you're all tough talk. shit. Yeah, wait, you wait, fucking wanna... bro. Oh, yeah, just keep fucking talking, yeah, mate. I just oh, talk, no, I'm from America. I'll fucking clap you out, mate. You what, fuck what, off. What the fuck does clap me out mean, man? <laughs> you want to get side in my cheeks? Is that what you just said? <laughs> Is that what clap means? The fuck? I'm in the middle of, of an office building yeah. right now. Uh, I'm surrounded by solicitors, and I hope they heard that. <laughs> That's gonna be a fun conversation out of the door when you walk past. Oh yeah! Way. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh Christ! Uh, all right. I this is this is another one too. This is another cool. one. What we were talking a little bit about this before, but what is your obsession with geography? Why are you so obsessed with geography, dude? 
I'm probably a little bit autistic, like deep down, probably somewhere, somewhere in my brain, if you go far enough, because I'm really into categorizing and like putting things. I love spreadsheets. Yeah. I love flags because I like the colors and what they mean and how they play. You know, I like everything being in neat little boxes and I like borders and stuff, you know, it's stuff like that. So geography was just natural for me, you know? What is, uh... I don't... go ahead, go ahead. I don't, know, I don't have any other symptoms though. It's just, I like categorizing. So, That's it. Categorizing yeah. things in general. Yeah. And loads of people, whenever they hear me, like whenever they see my spreadsheets, because I have spreadsheets, I have spreadsheets where I write about, I have a diary spreadsheet where every day I rate my day from one to six. And I've done that really? for three years. And it's just a huge spreadsheet of numbers for every single day of my life. Man, that's a little yeah. obsessive. <clears throat> Yeah, and people, people look, people. When I tell them that, they think that's that's that sounds like you've got autism. And I go, I don't know. I I literally show no other symptoms. I'm pretty good at reading people's faces. I'm pretty good at you know understanding you know social cues and Here, stuff. Read, so. read my face. You ready? Go on. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh God, here we go. Um. I know. I think yeah. If you were looking at me like that in person, I'd. I'd try and stop and ask you why you're staring at me like that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm not that great. <laughs> that's that's the face I make when I ejaculate, actually. Oh, okay. Silly yeah. me. <laughs> that's your man face. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, crazy. Oh, no, I definitely ask you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Here, I have another question for you. Supposedly, there's a certain country that you can't pronounce. Mm -hmm. What is that country? Um, I don't know. Uh, it starts with an N. Do you mean the the state of Canada that I can't pronounce? I I I can't. I don't think I, it's I a country. Uh, well, it's a state of Canada that I can't pronounce New, either. New Newfoundland. What Newfoundland? Newfoundland is Newfoundland? how I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced. I don't know. Someone. Oh, province. Sorry, province. It's. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced Newfoundland. Newfin Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Like you're, saying, like you're saying Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Yeah, I think it should be Newfoundland, because that's not hard to say. <laughs> Newfoundland. Right, say it with yeah. me. Right. What? Newfoundland. 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 There you go. Newfoundland. Is it, I don't think it's Newfoundland, is it? It's like Newfoundland. It's, it's Newfoundland. Are you sure? <clears throat> yeah. I'll trust you. I'll trust okay. you on that. Um, have you had asthma your entire life? Or only when you were a kid? No. I don't really... I don't have an inhaler. You don't use an inhaler? No. I have, um, I have a very, very simple asthma. It's, basically, it's like a sinus-based mm -hmm. one. So I have to take a nasal spray for it uh, in the morning. Normally in the morning, because it's like, basically my nose drips. Oh. This is like a gross thing. In like my head, in my skull, my yeah. nose. Right now I can feel it. It's like constant. Ever since I, was, ever since I moved to London, yeah. it's just started like a waterfall at the back of my throat. And it's always been like that. That's, that's um, post-nasal drip. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly I what it is, post-nasal drip. I have that too, yeah. Yeah, and, that's, um, and that is linked with asthma. Oh, is it really? Yeah, and so like also with my uh, with getting anxious, uh, that also kickstarts sort of my you, asthma quite a lot. You have anxiety. Mm, I I uh, I used to. I was diagnosed with anxiety when I was about six, and I used to I used to take meds for it. And my mum wouldn't tell me it was called anxiety though. I had to call it my worries because <laughs> the cute. word anxiety is so anxiety inducing. <laughs> that, it really is, you know, yeah. So um yeah, and then I I got through it when I got older. But ever since leaving home, it started to come back. But I'm I'm actually a hypochondriac. Oh, you are. Yeah. So give me an example of something. What did you obsess over like pretty recently? Um, so recently, uh, I okay. So the other night, as I was going into bed, I had a headache, and um, I then told myself that I had a brain tumor uh basically yeah no this is what i mean so like um the most interesting thing is like i can hear about a disease eight years ago yeah and then my brain will throw it forward the minute 
anything like similar to that. And I remember I read a I read a news article in like 2014 yeah. where a guy um had a headache and then he called an ambulance just as he got it they took him in and they saved his life in terms of they were a really rare tumor that was metastasizing and if he hadn't got it in that hour he would have died and Holy that shit. stuck with me forever and now whenever i get a headache i'm just assured i'm gonna die and it's um and it's the same as like but i i, I don't mean like so everyone in the chat is saying like oh same yeah. i mean i will have a panic attack and not be able to sleep i can't You'll, go back to bed kind yeah of does that happen often uh, yeah, and it's it's very with very specific organs too. It's only with my brain, my heart, my lungs, or my dick. Dude, That's we are the, the same thing. person, man. I, <laughs> I've I've experienced uh, anxiety for like eight years now, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like, my balls. Why are your balls? What are you What are you worried about with your balls? I don't know they're just so delicate, isn't it? Like, you don't want to don't want to mess them up. Yeah, what what do you mean? You think you got like testicular cancer or something like that? Yeah, they get twisted. You think oh, you, think you got cancer? Tor yeah. Testicular torsion. You know it, yeah, dude. Yeah. That's the worst. That happens to me. Oh all yeah, the time. all the time. You're just always all getting that torsion. Oh my god, because the older you get, the more your balls sag and drag into the floor and all that shit. So you wind them up every once in a while, and you gotta like un you gotta spin them to like yeah, unstuck them, like know? a dreidel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just spin it on its top, and it flies around yeah, all over the table. Yeah, yeah, man. But, but like, yeah, it, it's weird because I can be having an, a, a roaring pain in my right side, like my yeah. like my right breast down to my right. And like, you think you're having waist. a heart attack? Yep. No, and I'll be fine. But then if it's on my left side, I'm having a heart attack. It starts you know? on your right side, though. See, now you've told me that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You didn't know that? Oh, you've ruined it again for no, me. No, <laughs> but, but here's the thing, right? And this is what you have to, like, understand. Is that anxiety is is just within you okay oh, and like yeah. and if yeah. you and if and the thing that i've learned and because you're saying that you lose sleep and like you probably hyperventilate and things like that right oh yeah yeah, yeah. so like you have to like um you have to like remind yourself that you're just having anxiety in the moment like that's yeah. like i don't know how else to say it and like there's little things you can do like if you wear like a rubber band around your wrist you can snap it and like remind mm -hmm. yourself that like oh this is just anxiety like I've Stop. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. I've been to many doctors and therapist yeah. appointments about it. It's it's just something I've got. It's just something I have to live with. And it's yeah. not like it's it's really not. I don't know. It's difficult, but it's not like yeah. It's it doesn't interrupt my day to day life. I've had one time I had to stop streaming because of it, and yeah. that's out of hundreds and hundreds of streams. Is like, that is it I, just just too much going on and like your head's just racing and things like that or uh. So I, I have this weird, and may, another one that goes with is food. I'm very hypochondriac about food. Mm -hmm. So if I like, if I haven't eaten in that day, all my brain's thinking is, where am I going to get a meal? If I don't, I will pass out. Yeah. That's all my brain does. It just thinks, so I need to find the next place to get food. And it was during one of those, and I couldn't go and eat because it was like 11 p.m. and mm -hmm. the shops were closed. So I just went, fuck it, I need to stream. So I started streaming and then my brain was saying, you're going to pass out on stream. You haven't eaten. Yep. You know? Yeah. No, I, I, I'm I, right there with you, man. I had anxiety before uh, the stream, actually, because I didn't know how... I, every once in a while, I, the only other person I've ever gotten anxious with uh, interviewing is Carson. Mm -hmm. um, because Carson's like very like direct. And yeah. I didn't know how he would handle like critical conversations or like weird things that he normally wouldn't talk about. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, you're, you know, you're you're just as easy to talk to as Carson is. So, no, oh, thank you. I had anxiety. I'll be honest I with did. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, like it's not it's not too much. Like I I would just be taking meds for it if it was too bad. Yeah. So it's and I'm not taking any medication. I, I did it. that for a few years, and it was the best decision I ever made to get off of all of it. So yeah, um, yeah. it was really hard, but. You know, it was, I was on like, uh, antidepressants, anxiety and Adderall. So I was like, oh, like shit. a fucking roller coaster, man. And Holy shit. it took me like, uh, I just stopped doing it one day. I, I, I remember I was with this girl that I was seeing at the time and I, I had to go to work and I had the worst like panic attack of my life. And, mm -hmm. um, my heart was fucking flying out of my chest and I was sweating and I was like disoriented. And mm -hmm. I was, I used to work in a nightclub, so I pulled off my entire suit, like in one, like hard pull, I like ripped mm -hmm. my entire suit off, tie, button up shirt, suit, everything. And I just laid in bed naked and cried for three hours. And then I was like, I need to get off this medication. It was like way too yeah. much for me. Um, but yeah, you, you'll get through it, dude. The older you get, it'll, it'll get easier on you and you'll learn yeah, how to control it more. 
you can oh. hear that a lot. So can I just say as well? So you yeah. know I said that there's only been one stream that I've had to stop due to anxiety. Yeah. Can I say there's someone in your chat that actually knows the stream, which is fucking weird to me because the stream was like 20 minutes long because yeah. I had to stop it. And That's there was wild. and I had like a thousand viewers, right? Yeah. And this was like 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 March time, right? NY5IS has said, is he talking about the time he ate all that cheese bullshit while playing GeoGuessr? <laughs> That's the one. Holy How shit. do they fucking remember that? I... Nine five is or Nissus, I guess. How do you know that? How do you know that stream? What the fuck? That's they, so weird. They know everything about you, Wilbur. That's, That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you gotten used to this yet, or is it still kind of blowing your mind? Yeah, it's blowing my mind, dude. That's yeah. just I don't know. I I, I think uh, I I am. Um... I I I've, I'm bi I know imposter syndrome is like a meme yep. that everyone knows. like it's like it's not, it's not like, it doesn't though. mean anything anymore does it but like it I I have picked that like I have the one where you think that you've just lied to all these people and tricked mm -hmm. them into watching you and that soon they're gonna realize that you've been lying and they're gonna leave. <laughs> yeah, well I don't I, I don't know imposter syndrome is no joke, man. It's not yeah. at all. Like uh, Carson spoke about it a little bit and yeah, like yeah. obviously like. You know, you just said in the past year, your life went from like zero to 60, pretty much. That's yeah. what happened, right? Yeah. So, and now you're getting like, you know, you're in the DMs with Belle Dephine now. So like, <laughs> you know, and you're about to get like your personalized bathwater shipment in the mail. So oh, right? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I, right. I know Carson has it far worse than I have talked to Carson about this before. Yeah. And he has it far worse, but his one is, is, um, is made worse by, uh, uh, by, people online being yeah. awful to him i i used to have the same thing i used to uh, basically because i was always the very unfunny one from soot house i was the one who wasn't very funny uh and i was keenly aware of that and so i like i used to speak to my friends and like try and get them to teach me how to be funny <laughs> wait how, how... Just cause... but you're you're pretty funny like because you're just oh, that's because i've learned okay all right yeah i was gonna I'm say joking. i'm joking thank you though. yeah, <laughs> but, like... yeah. Um, but you've you've spoken to Carson about imposter syndrome before too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of the other guys in the group too. Do, do they experience it as well? Or I haven't asked. Actually, yeah, I haven't. But it's kind I of. Actually, I only really talk to Carson and Schlatt, the only two people I speak to regularly. From really? Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I don't know why I said this about Carson um, in my interview with him, and he kind of just like pulled back a little bit. But I was like, he is like the sweetest. I don't know what it is about you guys, man, but you guys are so fucking sweet. And it's like, I, I admire you all for your, um, I don't want to say popularity, but for your ability to like create content and to like, right. um, really stick to it and push like your narrative and then like look out for each other. And I think the respect that you all have for each other is really, uh, the way I said it to Carson was, you were like the group of friends in in high school, for me to say this, you're like the group of friends in high school that um, just decided to start live streaming and then next thing you know, or live streaming and being on Twitch and the next thing you know, like they're like, they're super fucking popular online and then nobody in their close circle around them knows what the fuck is going on. Yeah. And yeah. it's well, like- Well, that, that is what it was for Lunch Club. Yeah. A lot of it. I mean, it's, it's Carson's housemates, roommates and old friends from, you know, when he was a teenager, you know, that's the whole- but what about That's your friends? Thing. Who are the people? Because I, I was watching your stream a little bit earlier, and uh, there was this guy. Is it Tommy? That guy. He's he seems fucking hilarious. <laughs> he's he. I don't know how the world is going to be ready for Tommy. Yeah, he's sixteen years old. He's sixteen. He's, he's sixteen, and he's just roaringly funny. What? It's a, it's scary, dude. I don't I don't think the world's ready for it. Like. I've I've had him in like literally my housemates who've never seen Tommy, never met him, never spoken to him, think he's just hilarious. My mate Phil, his wife, watches Tommy's stuff because <laughs> like it's it's like it's such I don't know what it is about him. Like it's so it's he's so self aware, like to beyond any teenager in the world, right? It's like it's unbelievable. It's ridiculous. I like when I was sixteen, I was just fucking. I was, just I was weird. Like, you've seen the picture of me, like yeah. that. I was stupid kid. Because he's just this kid, keenly intelligent. It's so scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's what it is. The dude. world's not ready for a guy like Tommy. He's not ready when he when he reaches like nineteen, eight, even eighteen, nineteen, and he's. I reckon he's he could do stand up like 
big time stand up kind of thing, like Bo Burnham level. Like, but he's but he's so he's new to is he new to streaming? Uh, no, he's been doing about three years. No shit. So when he was thirteen, no. It's he's it's, it's, he's he's I know, and he's got. I mean, he idolizes so many very funny people. I mm-hmm. guess is why. Like he's he he absolutely loves Schlatt, and he loves the Misfits. Yeah. And he loves like he loves General Sam, who we were talking about as well and stuff. He's he's really really into some really really funny people. Have you and, you've, you've met all these people in person before, right? Like you've met the Misfits. I've and met all I've met Schlatt. I've met Fitz briefly. I don't think he'll remember me, but I did meet him, uh, and I've never met General Sam in person. So, what was the last event you went to? Uh, TwitchCon. Oh. No, VidCon. 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 Okay. Twenty twenty VidCon. Yeah. Um. And you, wait, you don't think you don't think Fitz would remember you? No, uh, I met him at a um at his party in his house in San Diego, or at the Airbnb they were staying at in San Diego. Oh, for Twitch. T- yeah, yeah. I went to that too. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, that house is fucking I'm, wild, man. It was mad. I remember yeah. when I was in the Uber and I put in the address, and he was just, and I was just asking him like, because you know, it, Ubers in America are so talkative. Yeah. I've never experienced that. Yeah, in the UK, they just don't talk to you. Yeah. But like, I was just chatting with him, and he was just like, he was. I was just saying, is this a nice area? And he was like, what, have you never been to where you're going? And I was like, no, I've never been. He was just like, yeah, it's a fucking nice area. <laughs> like, he, was just, he was just like, you're going to have a good time. Awesome. <laughs> like, I- I'll never forget it because I walked in. Who was I with? Um, shit, I forgot who I was with. But I walked in and uh, there was Swagger. It was Swagger. Mm-hmm. And I went into the kitchen. And I knew Ryan um, from like my old job and all that shit. Um, Ryan, I got the the manager of the Misfits, and yeah, I yeah, walked into the, the kitchen, and there was this big ass fucking table. This table must have been like the size of like my bedroom, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And yeah. on top of the table was endless amounts of liquor. It was like a fucking sea of liquor. It was actually yeah. unbelievable. Um, and it was it was insane because people they they literally are misfits. Like mm-hmm. they are one hundred. Per- they live up to their name one hundred percent no doubt about that whatsoever yeah, and yeah. um how do you how did you mesh in with that like crew like did you i didn't I, just <laughs> sort of, I i introduced myself to fitz yeah and was like hi nice to meet you and he was he was understandably not really interested he was just Aww. off doing something else not in like a mean way he gave yeah. me the time of day he wasn't rude but he was just, you know he had other things to do so yeah. i sort of let him go quickly um it's weird we were in the same room together probably then at mm-hmm. some point we probably were yeah because there yeah. was that outdoor area too and there was yeah, a lot of yeah, people yeah. there uh, that's that's funny that's crazy it is crazy because the, there was the one time the time i met carson was at pax west and i didn't even know it was him mm-hmm. and I, I'm, I don't know if you watched my vod of my interview with him i brought this up but he remembered it too because we he was sitting there with like a twitch uh partner manager mm-hmm. and uh i me and austin were walking past and she was like oh hey uh, this is Carson and his friends, and I, I don't remember who they were. And uh, yeah. he was, I was like, hey, I'm Joe. Nice to meet you, man. And he's like, hey, I'm Carson. I make Minecraft videos. And I was like, I was like, that's cool. And then I like said something to him, and I was like, I, I made fun of him for some reason. I don't know why I made mm-hmm. fun of him. Um, but As he, you should. Minecraft YouTubers deserve no oh, rights. I was, like, I was like, who the fuck does this guy think he is or something like that? Minecraft. <laughs> and uh, yeah. He, uh, but he was so sweet to me though. But I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you, you know, you got a chance to at least meet Fitz and them and um, get a perspective and all that cool stuff. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a little bit of a challenge for you. Go on. Okay. So supposedly, um, I don't know what this is, but you have done something pretty fucking bad, Wilbur, and I'm gonna be the one to test you on it. Okay. Okay. Supposedly. You've scammed people for one diamond and provided false whale facts. Now, yeah. Wilbur, I, in front of me... Three. Three diamonds per Three diamonds. Fact. And I, mm-hmm. in front of me, Wilbur, mm-hmm. have whale facts that you probably didn't know were true. And I'm going okay. to ask you them, and you're going to have to answer whether or not they're true or false. And it's just true that or false. such a good idea. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> That's a really good topic okay so wilbur hold on let me put on the appropriate music for this okay okay 
I do like whales a lot. They're I, my favorite animal. Well, it's so. time for you to determine. Put my money where for my us mouth to is. determine. Yes, put your money where your mouth is, you son of a bitch. All right, you ready? <laughs> yep. Wilbur. Mm hmm. Is it true or false that whales can get sunburns? True. Is it true or false? No, you tell me I'm right. <laughs> I, I'm not. I have five questions. And you, oh, okay, look, okay. And you, you listen here, you fucker. You better look right at the camera, okay? Look right at the fucking camera. Don't move your goddamn eyes, okay? Keep them right there. Put your hands up, too. Okay. That's right. Tell me to get his mug shot. Okay. Next question. <laughs> is it true or false that a whale's heart is not as big as a car? Not as big as a car. Yes, not as big as I'm a car. I'm sure it is as big as a car. <laughs> And you can swim down their arteries. Next question. Wait, what whale? What whale are we talking about? <laughs> Wilbur, we're not getting into semantics here, okay? We're getting into, <laughs> into what I'm asking, okay? Next question. Wilbur, true or false? You can tell the age of a whale by the rings in its earwax. False. They don't have ears. <clears throat> Next question. True or false? Many perfumes that are expensive contain I'm whale from poop. Ambergris. Yes. I'm not gonna not going to confirm whether or not that's true or false, but thank you for the answer. And the last question, Wilbur. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Is it true or false that whale milk is weird? Weird. Weird. And fatty. That's pretty weird. Oh yeah, it's like like sperm whale milk is like it's like hella like it's like yellow, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Congratulations, Wilbur. Congratulations, so five Wilbur. Five. You've answered three out of five correct. Oh, which one's that guy? I got a sunburn one wrong. Sunburn was actually correct. You got sunburn correct. I st oh, okay. You, you got that correct. The one that you fucked up on. I got two wrong, you said. Two wrong. The two that you got wrong were a blue whale's heart is not as big as a car. You said it was. <laughs> But it's not. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it says it in the question. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it says a blue whale's heart is not as big as a car. <laughs> it says not. Okay. <laughs> cool. Next one. Next one was the earwax. You got that wrong as well. Uh, oh, they supposedly. Do have supposedly whales have ears and earwax. Oh, but sixty okay. percent. Give yourself a round of applause, buddy. That's I, not bad. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm Come happy on. with that. That's I love their ears. I didn't even. Yeah. I thought they like felt vibrations and shit in their yes. little heads. Well, they had like because they have like hollow heads, don't they? I and believe they, like, so. The well, so, yeah. I, I can't answer that, Wilbur. You're the whale expert. You're supposed to be video I saw. Sure. Just a video I saw on TikTok yeah, of, a, um, of, a, of a, someone squishing a, a whale head. Yes, all the questions it, were actually true, by the way. Were they all true? Yeah, they were. It was literally a quick Google search. What animal facts are true about whales? <laughs> you fooled me. Yeah, uh, I gotcha. Where, where's the, where's the, where is he? Uh, oh, did I not like it? Did I not hit like on it? It's not in my like, so I don't have it. It's gone. Vanished. I'm sorry. I'm gone. sure someone in chat will find it. They have soft heads. You go... Bloop. <laughs> Wait, so have you ever pet a whale before? No, I've never seen one. Oh, really? You gotta come to... You gotta go to Boston and go whale watching. I would love to. Yeah. I'd love to. Uh, next time you're in America, and if you go to Boston for like PAX East, I'll take you whale watching. We'll no. bring Austin, was we'll invite Carson, we'll invite everyone to go with. Oh, hell yeah. I was invited in San Diego to go to SeaWorld. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. don't go to SeaWorld. That place is fucking no, depressing. No, no, I know. <laughs> yeah, that place is fucking depressing. You don't want to do that to yourself. When did your U2s come out? Uh, August. Early August. Did it sell out? Oh, oh, you mean my last one? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it sold out. Uh, in like three days, I think. Is that, That's kind of fucking wild. It's like a little bobblehead, right? Yeah. Isn't that it's kind of crazy? scary? I don't even have one. They didn't even give me one. Really? Yeah. Do you think they're I didn't gonna, get one? You think they're gonna do like another edition with you? Yeah, they they are doing another one. Do you want to see it? Mm -hmm. You can't show chat. Okay, you send it to me through but Discord. I'll, yeah, I'll get out to you. Uh, I, I've shown it briefly on my channel, but like, there's it's been updated slightly. Okay. So let me take a look at uh, this. But yeah, like, can they, I let them I know if I like it? it? If I if I think it's cool. Yeah, you can tell me if it's shit. Okay. Or good. Well, I'm not gonna tell you if it's shit. I wouldn't do that to you. Do You're that. just gonna go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is shitty. <laughs> what a mistake you made. What a fucking mistake. 
Yeah, god damn. Too late to change? Hope so. Hope not, I mean. <laughs> okay, Why let me see this. conversation with you two? Have I lost my you two's discussion? I think I have. Is that what is that what's happened? Hold on. No, I'll find it. I'll find it. You two's has like worked with everyone pretty much, huh? At this point. Seems like a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, I found it. I found it. Here you go. Yeah, they 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 they, they work with a lot of people. I was number thirty one, I think. I was U two's number thirty one. I don't know. They're on to like eighty now, I think. So I've seen it off of Joe's bald head. That's actually the rudest thing I think I'll ever read in my entire life. There you go. There it is. Oh, that's cute. Little, What's with the thing on the computer? What's with the with the one thing? What the plaster? Yeah. What? Yeah, that, that's in the music video. That's called a bandage. Plaster. No, plaster is what you put on the wall. And on your face. You don't you put plaster on your face because you would not be able to breathe. It's you called a, a plaster. No, you put this a bandage. No, Wilbur. You put a bandage on your face. You put plaster on the wall. It's a, the plaster thing's a band-aid. Plaster. I don't want to argue with you about this. <laughs> Um, oh god, you know what I really like about this this graphic you just what? sent? The what? shoes. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a big fan of that brand, by the way. Oh wait, I'm not wearing the... You're not wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing the wrong one. <laughs> I, was, I got really confident now, I was like, look at this! Wait, hold on, wait, hold on, I have to find... I Hold on, I have the cutest thing. Okay, can I show it to you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Hey chat, how you doing? <laughs> you alright? This is my show now. Uh, everyone, everyone spam uh, plaster in the chat. And then afterwards, everyone spam come in the chat. Um? And the, oh god, he can hear me. <laughs> come, come. Oh no. <laughs> um, these These shoes wouldn't be the same if they didn't have the little oh and they're dirty combo. and they're so dirty too and they're my favorite shoes because they're just dirty and gross you, you got the ankle ones yeah you i can't. never have the ankle ones oh you just have the flat ones yeah 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 you can't like wash you can't wash shoes like that no um interesting question mm -hmm. okay what is it like having the pressure of being a content creator um, what is that pressure like for someone of your size on both platforms? Uh, pretty scary. I just pretend they're not real. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> yeah, it's scary as hell. So I just pretend none of them are real, and then it kind of goes away a bit. Mm -hmm. How do you pretend? I'm very good at fooling real? myself. Really? Yeah. Why is I just pretend they're bots. <laughs> They are bots. They're all just spamming cum in the chat. <laughs> the yeah, that's what I think of them. I just think they're bots. I don't understand it because, like, I I guess the, I guess the thing that calms me down because they because they they are quite rambunctious. I mean, look at them, right? Yeah, look at them. But like, they 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 are they they are very rambunctious, and I remember loads of their names. Like, I'm recognizing loads of names in the chat as mm -hmm. they're going past and stuff, right? So like, I I know that they're real. But like the thing is, is because I know that I have had, I've been as much of a fan of content creators yeah. as people are of me. So like I'm aware that, and I was, I was one of those ones because I can guarantee you, right? I know you're out there, right? I'm, I'm gonna call them out now. There is like, I'm gonna say like ninety percent of these people, right, who've come here to watch me, right? Yeah. If they have come here to watch me, not just well, come they, to they see came you, here for but... you. They, nobody came for me, but trust okay. Me. But the ones that have come for me, I can guarantee you, a large percentage of them haven't said a word in the chat and have been here the whole time and have never said a word in chat to me ever. They've never, they've never said hi in a live stream because that's what I was like. I never, I never interacted. I just always used to sit there. I was the, I was the guy who used to sit and watch. And I guarantee that some of them are going to come out. But like, that was what I used to do. I never used to, and that's that's what takes the pressure off me. I'd mm. say is it's knowing the, that there's people like that out there. That I can see, and I see myself in them. Like yeah. the majority, they are lurkers. Like the majority of people who watch me, I can guarantee you are lurkers. They just yeah. they just sit and they watch and they have a good time. And then after I've clicked stop stream, they turn off the computer and go and do their life. You know, yeah. they don't. That like that does it doesn't it ends when I'm gone. You know, that's mm -hmm. what and that's what I want. 
God, I, I can't get over the fact that I have not had a second where my, like, my little followers list has not stopped moving. It's been non-fucking-stop <laughs> this entire... Like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm getting it's distracted by it. It's because you're a good interviewer. Is that I what it see is? More. Yeah, you think the best in, out of the two I've had, this is the best <laughs> <Okay>. one. <laughs> That's not very fair, because, like, when someone, <laughs> when someone else interviews you, you're going to be like, this is the best interview I've ever seen before in my entire life. Why would I ever want to... I would ever want to do anyone with anyone else, yeah. Yeah, everyone's saying you're good. Oh, I appreciate it's... that. That's really sweet of you. Thanks, yeah. thanks, chat. Um, what is it like being a stand of schlatt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to. I was a stand before anyone else. Yeah? Yeah. I used to, when, when schlatt made, made Roller Coaster Tycoon streams for an audience of 20, I was there. <laughs> that was me there. On yeah. YouTube. You stream on YouTube entirely. <laughs> and yeah, I used to, uh, dude. I'm an open TDD. I played open. T I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be playing open TDD with Schlatt soon. Actually, oh, I was. Right. I was meant to yesterday, but then we didn't. But um, yeah, I dude. I've been a Schlatt stand longer than any of these fucks. <laughs> I fuck man. You know Schlatt. Schlatt followed me on Twitter a few months ago, and I sent him a DM, and I was like, "How's Minx?" And then he never responded to me again. Yeah, that's not how you open with Schlatt. <laughs> you don't do that. I didn't you know what to say. That. I was like, oh, I was being no. sarcastic and. He fucking hates me now. I think. I think Schlatt yeah, hates no, no, me. He's never gonna re respond to you now. I know. I, fi I figured that's. It. I figured that's it. That's it. I, as one New Yorker to another, I know to go fuck myself now. That's it. <laughs> I get it. The thing with Schlatt I is, is that if you basically Schlatt has a big wall. Schlatt has a very big wall. Yeah. Right. And it's a it's a wall of of dignity, and it's a wall of like of you know of of of, of you know it, what matters to him, right? Yeah. And when Schlatt performs, he's on this side of the wall. This is where oh. the audience is, and this is where he is, right? And then when he's done performing, he says, bye-bye, love you guys, and then goes this side of the wall. What he doesn't like is the fuckers that try and climb over that wall. I got it, I got it, yep. So, and I think you may have come across as one of those people oh, who, like... Oh, fuck, well, someone clip this and say, Schlatt, I didn't mean it like that. You're welcome. <laughs> He's, I'm sure. I'm sure he. I'm sure he. He. He's just. He. You know. It's just first impressions and that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, first impressions. I. I. I'm really bad at typing though. Like, I don't know if you could tell by some of my messages. Here, I'll give you an example of one. Here. There you go. That's like an example of me not being able to form a sentence properly. You just smashed your keyboard and then yeah. went, here you go. Yeah, Here's that, an example. Well, that, <laughs> that's what I did to Schlatt as well. And the next thing you know, it ended up saying, how's Minx? So like, I, I didn't mean for it to come off that I way. I mean, you got the word gay in there. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I do. B A G 2 Y 7 gays. Wow. <laughs> here you go. That actually worked. Oh, here you go, yeah, chat. Dude. Go ahead and take a look at that. Not bad. Um, well, either way, you know, I think I kind of, I kind of stand, uh, I kind of stand Schlatt too, because he doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck. I like that about yeah. him and I, I respect yeah. him like immensely for that. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. He's, I promise you, he's just, he's just as nice in real life. He's a, I'd say he's a different person, uh, to his performing side, but he's just as friendly and just as nice. I believe just it. As, I believe just that. as funny and yeah. good to talk to. Um, what advice do you have for people who watch you? I mean, I think you have a lot of people who not, and I don't want to overgeneralize it, but I think you have a lot of people who watch you who are inspired by you and probably want to pursue oh. like a similar route as you. Um, maybe good. it's with music. Maybe it's with like the way you treat people and how uh, genuine of a human being you are. And may or maybe it's because they want to create like Minecraft content. Like I'm what cry, dude. Oh, it's okay. You can cry, baby. I'll give you a hug. I'll hold you, man. Come on. <laughs> I, uh, I, I want to know how, what kind of advice you might have for the people who are like, that really look up to you, man, because even me, I'm a smaller streamer according to, mm. you know, things. And like, even me, I, I still get daily messages from people that are like, Oh, Joe, I really appreciate you. I look up to you, all that stuff. Um, it's crazy. Yeah. So, and I, I think it's insane for me. So like, I want to know how, what, what advice you might have for the people who look up to you like that, man. I mean, if I could, I'd make an advice YouTube channel, but Schlatt's already got that market cornered, <laughs> so um, I, I'm sticking with... Uh, yeah, I'd say advice-wise, what I'll go... I mean, for music, my advice... I, I guess I kind of said it. Your music is more than you are. Mm -hmm. Don't give a shit about... Like, like that's one thing, because a lot of musicians are egotistical. I, I should know. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, a lot of them are like, you know, 
including myself, very like very into themselves. They like mm. the idea of my story needs to be told. You know, yeah. the important thing you need to do when you're starting making music is all the best musicians, at least the ones that aren't wankers, like distance themselves from their music. When they've made a song, that's not theirs anymore. Yeah. That's everyone else's. And that's what you got to do. And for learning, you just got to keep doing it. There's no such thing as having two small hands or two weak hands or, yep. you know, there's no such thing. Um, my yeah. last question for you, and Go this on. is, uh, this is going to be the one that kind of stirs things up a little bit. Is, okay. Um, oh, and I, I just want to, <clears throat> I just want to preface and say, um, this is for, uh, this is not for the weak, the weak hearted, um, the weak of heart. Um, <clears throat> Wilbur, at one point, there was a quote that you put out that said, streamer mm -hmm. in the streets and big whale in the sheets. Yep. Is this directly referring to the post of yours that went on largepenissupportgroup.com of the clip that was pulled out of context of your cock in a Twitch clip? I don't know this one. You don't know? <laughs> I can't answer what? the question. I know the big whale meme. That's from Monopoly. I'm going to send this to you and I will never... This was... My, one of my mods found this and I will oh never... Oh my fucking yeah. god! Yeah, dude. <laughs> Wait, I missed. I'm fucking... You didn't know about this? There we go. <laughs> Can I play the clip? No! You can't play the fucking clip! I know this clip. Hold on. Let me get my fucking... <laughs> Hold on. I will, talk, I will talk about this. This is the okay. only time. This is your exclusive. Whew. You wanted your exclusive. I want my Joe, exclusive. You're exclusive, right? Hold on. I want my Hold exclusive. The Hold the phone. Okay. Right. So. So. Go on. I was ill. I was ill to no effect, right? Mm -hmm. It was during SMP Earth, which was a little Minecraft server I made. And I was really fucking ill right mm -hmm. and and i remember i was just in my pajamas and i was doing a stream and i got up to blow my nose right mm -hmm. which nose fuck you <laughs> sorry go on and i fuck and i didn't yeah i said essentially there's a little a basic, i basically i just had like the entirety of reddit trying to figure out how big my cock was for a day <laughs> like literally i got sent it and they were like this you question mark and it was like it was like and there's everyone in the fucking responses being like well now how big his dick is like, look at that. And they, you know they fucking they got like measurements out there was a 4chan thread of people measuring the bulge in my tracksuit <laughs> so is it true What's true? Well, big whale. Yeah, that's what I call it, Joe. I call it the big whale. Yeah. Oh, God. It's the, it's the fucking oh, sperm God. whale, mate. Oh, it's the sperm whale. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. You know, it's like, holy shit, oh. dude. It, that, was, that was so fucking weird that... for me when everyone was measuring my penis, dude. When I got like, that... Everyone being confused. You can go find it. It's probably somewhere, but like, fucking hell. I got... Can I... I'm just going to read you the message I got because it like made me fucking die laughing because it included Austin for some reason. And that's why... Okay. That's why I wanted to bring it up to you. Let me. It, it was just like here. Let me see. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pull that. Pull that from underneath. No, your, no, it's funny. Your it's funny. Your, I was, well, uh, it's it's. I'm not. I have no shame. <laughs> well, why would you if it looks like that? You know, like no, I don't mean like that. <laughs> I mean shame in talking, you bastard. Oh, okay, all right, sorry. You bastard, Joe. I didn't, I didn't realize that's what Why you meant, is it but... every every American interviewer I meet wants to fucking see my penis? I don't <laughs> want to see... What the fuck? I don't want to see your cock. I already have. I don't need to see it again. What do you think? I want to see that thing? It embarrasses me because I have to look at my own. And I'm like, God, this is sad. You know? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not, you know, it is, I'm not, it's not actually sad. It's pretty, you know, whatever. Anyway, so the thing was is uh, Wilbur Sutt's bulge in his sweatpants, old VOD was deleted, and then a face that's like, like this, like, and then it says, no wonder Raj Patel slash Austin show is so obsessed with him. <laughs> I'm going to send this to you just so you can laugh at it. I and, and this and this this is actually my last question. It was, are people ever mean to you? Because I feel like everyone oh, really yeah. just likes you, Wilbur. No, people are mean to me all the time. 
I don't see how we, they could we, be. We move off the tracksuit penis. No, yeah, we're we're done with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that. people, people. I get I get hate mail all the time, dude. I, I hell yeah. How does that people, affect? How does that specifically affect you? Um, I don't know. It's normally it's normally about this tooth here. See this one that if I go like this, you can see. Hold on. What's wrong with the tooth? You can see it sort of pokes out a bit more. You can see it better on like a better camera, but like. Yeah. You see, it? it's like on the bottom. But that's a part of you. I know. Felt yeah. like people people make fun of that quite a lot. Uh, what else do I get? Uh, not a lot physically. I'm happy. Oh, I'm I'm really fucking skinny arms. Look at this bullshit. That's okay. That. That's like you know. I get that yeah, quite a lot. The, but the main one, the main one is just people saying that I'm just not being funny, or that they say that I'm a dick for having the friends that I have. Mm -hmm. Is one as well. I get I get told I'm a I'm a dickhead because of that. I don't see how you can oh. be. Uh, I don't see. Yeah, loads of people. Loads of people don't like me. Yeah, but they just say things. They're just projecting, though. I mean, that's all they're doing. Let them project, then. Yeah. So it doesn't fuck with you at all. Doesn't, no, never. No. Good. Smart. Smart. Because I mean, you're six foot five. You could just steal their just girlfriend if you up. wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> Step on them. Step on them. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What do you? What's the? And then obviously, this is actually the last question. What's the first thing you're gonna do? after um covid kind of calms down uh i'm gonna go to sea land what sea land sea uh what's sea land there's a there's a an there's an old world war ii bunker off the coast of the uk mm -hmm. that a guy has decided uh is now its own country mm -hmm. really yeah and he and he sells visas and um, I'm going to go there and I'm going to make a video on it because no one's wow. not anything that I could find as anyone's ever gone to this, this, this fake country in the middle of the ocean and done oh, a video shit. on it. It's got a really interesting, it's got, a, it's got a history of terrorist attacks. It's what? had a terror attack. <laughs> it's, had a, it's had a hostage situation with the princess. <clears throat> of oh, there's the a island. princess on Sealand? Yep. German terrorists captured the prince and there was like, and they had to shoot them. What? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there was like a, there was almost a war with the UK. Oh shit! Yeah, basically. So there's three. The, my favorite thing about it is there's three. So I'm gonna go there and and talk about it and yeah. basically do like a little video about it. But like there's three things that denote you being a country, and that is having a major country recognize you in the UN. That's the big one. If a major country recognizes you as a country, then you are a country pretty oh, much. Shit. That's like the big thing, right? The other one is having land that no one else wants. If you if you have a land that is uncontested, then it that's the other part that you need. And then the weakest part and the part that most people have is that you can set up permanent occupancy and everyone else who occupies that area is happy with you being the owner of it. Wow. Those are the three things you need, right? So Sealand had German had a German terrorist force come and kidnap the son, the son of the king, right? Yeah. His son was kidnapped and held at gunpoint, right? And then the king basically got in his helicopter and was like, I'm going to go shoot them. And then the British government said, no, you're not allowed to go and shoot them. And, and the man was like, why? And they were like, because you're in our country, because the Br Britons still claim that Sealand is part of the UK, right? Because yeah. they refuse yeah. to say it's its own country. <clears throat> so then the German uh, government send out a military force with like a, with like a hostage negotiator over to this military thing <laughs> and they go over to it and the, the king of Sealand points out that the German people went into the borders of the UK on, with military and so they put forward Germany, did you invade the United Kingdom? Germany said no, they've been recognized as a country. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> and they used that as an argument that they are technically now a country because they were like, Germany went into the borders and you guys said it wasn't an invasion so there we go, we're a Fucking country. Fucking Sealand, yeah, what's yeah, up? And no, one, and no one listens to it, I'll send you the Sealand Wikipedia page. It's... Do they have like a like a pamphlet I can get or something? like a? Yeah, I'll, I'll send you the uh, .gov.org page. Are you well. kidding me? It's a .gov.org? There you go. Oh, and there's, oh, they've got a really cool oh, flag. Wait, hold they on. Have the, that's the flag, the big thing I've shown you there. Yeah, but this is sealandgov.org. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't even have a .gov. They don't have a it's .gov, just, yeah. It's gov.org, yeah. Our but history. yeah, you see it's literally like a little, it's a little helicopter pad. Become a lord or a lady. Oh yeah, they like sell little like tourist things there, but like, yeah, I want to go there. 
And I want to do a video on it because no one else seems to have done it. And I think it'd be really fun. Oh, you should 100% do that. That would be excellent. Hell yeah. And, just, and tell the story of Sealand. <laughs> you can share. Maybe you can get like an exclusive conversation with the president of Sealand or the king of Sealand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I think, I think the original one's dead. Uh, the original Michael Bates, I think his name was. I think he's dead or. It's been around for a while then. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's Paddy Bates. Yeah. He's the, he's, he died in 2012. Hmm. But Sealand was set up in 1967, was wow. when they said. Seven miles yeah. off the eastern shores of Britain. Yep. It is the smallest country in the world. No shit. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. I would love to see that. That'd be a really fun video to see. I want to do it. Well, Wilbur, I got to say, man, it's been a fucking pleasure hanging out with you, dude. It's been fun. It's been fun. And now I've got to make sure Twitter's not spreading a video of my penis. No, no. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. Did I do that? Oh, no, 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 no. I literally don't care. I literally okay. don't care. I'm taking right. it to this. I mean, people are going to find it. It's like, whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean, and honestly, it's nothing to be ashamed of. That's for sure. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to, I had to do that. Um, but Wilbur, honestly, man, thanks for, uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day to just hang out with me. And I know it's kind of late for you over there, but... I uh, I fun. I appreciate you and I I really enjoyed getting to know you better, man. It's been a pleasure. It's been a, yeah, it's been a great time. It's been great talking to you. I've had a wonderful time. Is there is there anything else you'd want to say? Um, before I send you off and you can go go on. With no, that. I'm pretty comfortable. You you've covered pretty much everything. I don't have anything else. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I think okay. I've seen everything. All right. Well, um, it's uh, it's cool, man. Let's uh, let's catch up soon. If I ever have like Minecraft questions, can I just message you? <laughs> Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll answer your Minecraft stuff, but I prefer you to figure it out on your own. I think that would be. Cool I'm gonna work. I'm gonna fuck around with it maybe tonight or tomorrow, and then I'll yeah, do it in single player. Go. Don't yeah. tell other people. Just do it and just learn it yourself. Like 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 experience it all first. Because I would kill to be able to do what you're be in the position you're in. Okay. Of just never knowing Minecraft, just being able to do it from scratch. All right. Well, I'll take your advice on that then. That's a good advice. Right. All right, man. Well, have a good night. I'll see you soon. See you, man. Bye, bye, bye. brother. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate that. I also have a Twitch where everything here is filmed live. So feel free to follow me there at twitch.tv forward slash hates Joe or follow me on Instagram or Twitter in the description below. Thanks.